Would you say Clinks or Drow Medusa or yeah, Clinks Drow or Medusa here? Um, probably Drow. Drow. Okay, let's do Drow. All right. So I mean, they have they have PA and Night Stalker. Um, so they have they have some threats, but you've got Winter Warrior and you've got Amaris who's going to run in. Um, uh, you've got the Razor kind of sort of run in. So you will definitely need to be a little bit careful. They do have like some jump threats. They've got like Techies jump and Hoodwing spell. So like there is some stuff. Um, but a lot of the thing about Drow is a lot of matchups are two sided because if they overextend, then you kind of just explode everyone because you do a million damage. Right. So what should be okay? First of all. Are you, uh, what do you think about items? I've been seeing pros pick up mangoes more and more as it gives nonstop sustain value and then you just fly in a tango or so. Do you agree with that or do you think I should start with the tango? Um, yeah, I think I think doing the mango stuff is good. Um, as long as you're a clicker or razor, you have tangos? Uh, assume my support gives me no tangos. It's hit and miss. It's like 50-50 at this level. Okay. Yeah, if he doesn't give you tangos, then maybe it's better just start with one, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, started walking already. Uh, so, um, it, I'm probably against Night Stalker techies, I would say. So, let me know if there's anything you disagree with. Uh, I'm thinking of an early raindrops and an early fluffy hat in order to survive the burst of techies. Uh, because fluffy hat will be later part of Hurricane Pike and raindrops can give me mana sustain. Um, so I think the the fluffy hat probably not necessary, but I think the raindrop is very good. Um, good raindrop super super good for sure. I think probably boots will do you more good than getting a fluffy hat uh, in terms of survivability. Because NS, if you're like if you're just spacing him, especially when night happens, um, you have this raindrop to tank his cues, and you're like spacing with boots and you're chipping him down, then that'll probably do you more good than the HP is going to. Okay, so uh, I'll keep in mind the the early boots, the raindrops. Um, would you ever go double wraith band on Drow? Probably not in the safe lane. Oh, shit! Rut row. Run! <sighs> uh, not in the safe lane. Yeah, okay. Yes. Gonna go. Might up. need to go to base and port to lane to be honest. Really? Do you think they're gonna I be mean, happy, I mean, right? I mean, if the hoodwinks there shooting you, then you can't run through. I can just go like this, right? Yeah, you will get to land slightly late. Yeah, I might miss one. Very well. You would have uh, recommended go home and TP. Probably so, yeah. Well, but uh, maybe, maybe maybe this maybe this is okay actually. This is probably fine. Luckily, they well, I might miss one. Let's see if Razor is gonna like last hit uh, or if he's actually gonna be a support. He does have wards, so. so be it. He seems like a homie. Yeah, <laughs> he seems like a homie. Uh, so I have to hit my own to keep the balance. Yeah. Um, depending on what happens up there, you could potentially look and shoot this Night Stalker. He's kind of in a goofy trade right now. Oh, he is last hitting. So I have a griefer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a game for you to watch. <laughs> Razor, can you not? We've got an audience. <laughs> he's trying, I think he's dewording the pull right now. It's the nice. So I mean, you you can you can probably like so now you can probably shoot the night stalker. There's not really much to do. You can kind of post around and shoot himself. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, I'm not getting any last hits. <laughs> can probably the creep, pull the creeps down at this point. You'll get the two guaranteed CS and maybe the deny. That's right. What do you mean by pull the creeps down? Um. So like instead of continuing to shoot the guy, you can draw aggro and pull the like drag the creeps down to the range creep so that the the range creep gets below half, so you can deny it. Uh, yeah, I had like one or two creeps left, so yeah. So this is some good damage. Yeah. He may I'm not sure a... how much region they have, but they're they're not too happy right now. He may be a jerk, but he's dealing damage. <laughs> yes, that's true. It's right here. Razor probably not... What he's doing is not great. I think he's taking, all got the wave back he's, down. He's, he's the... taking too much damage, and he kept the wave here. Yeah. Um, it's not the end of the world, though. They're so low that... You're not really in any threat here, so it's fine. Your sucker might even might have even died. Nice. Yeah, he's dead. So Alright, have... very nice. I could have probably gone for a So try and drag try and try and drag these creeps down back to the lower spot. Yeah. What a beast actually. This guy's going. 
Dota is a it's an it's an interesting game. There's like you have. I want, I want to posture down some. You might get blue. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Lots of different experiences in Dota. <laughs> that is true. Okay, nice. Oops, I meant to frost arrow that. Don't you dare. All right, so wave's pushing into you. You're chilling. Yeah, you can just keep peppering this guy. You don't need to worry too much about pulling aggro because people of the wave will naturally push yeah. into you. So. Uh, would you melee stand if you can posture safely in order to make your projectile hit? Oh shit, I'm dead. Nah, you're okay. Why am I not dead? Uh, is Boots next? Um, probably. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not actually 100 percent sure. Um, but I don't think it's bad. Oh, God! Should I bring in a heal solve? Yeah, probably. Probably faring a solve is good. You you can drop it on the ground and ask your razor to pick it up. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he will though. I'm not sure if this, that's the type of guy this guy is. I don't think he will. Uh, I'll get. You, you can just you can just put it on him. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it back from him. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. I see. I see. I'm not saying it's always like this in uh, in Legends or something. It's just someone that picks Razor and then like contests the first last hit. I try to like do full self sustainability. Uh, would I go Gust here or multi shot? Yeah, Gust probably probably good. Hold it in case I need it yeah. until I need it. Um, yeah, that's okay too. Good enough. Can I right, take this wave back with me or not? You can try. Oh. Got a couple creeps. So I drop it here. I can't really walk up and get the other one, right? Attack. Yeah, not really. Can't wait for your razor to get back. Now that he's back, you can kind of go up. Ideally, the razor pulls the hard camp. Yo, yo, kill the creep, kill the creep, draw it to the. Oh yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's okay. So be it. So yeah, raindrop next, probably decent start blocking uh, night stalker stuff. Yes. Oh. Oh. Against hoodwink, being ready with calling blade to cut the trees is really nice. Yeah, could have probably done it real fast, right? The, in the delay that he caused there. Don't yeah, just... so if you, you you can see him and you can just like try and pre uh, what's it called? Like you can just be spamming the cut. Like you can just randomly click it around and then like when it lands, you can just move to it. Ah, uh, yeah. Your razor's popping off right now. <laughs> try, try and try and pull the hard can. Try and pull the hard can. Okay. You would probably also be focusing on killing all the trees against Hoodwink, no? Yes, that is also quite good. You can just like casually spam it off cooldown. Um, would I go treads next? Yeah, yeah, you can throw your gloves of haste and uh, raindrop. Gonna need to wait for your razor to get back. Him not being here is pretty bad. Ouch. This razor is <laughs> killing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, I mean, right now, just like, you may have to like, you may get a little bit less, but just like chilling and taking these creeps when they come under tower is probably chill. You can maybe steal some of those creeps with multi-shot, the big creeps. Yeah. I was trying to get the catapult. Ow. Catapult is hard because of the magic resist. Yeah. Well, I mean, frost arrows is, is physical, but it is still hard to last. Them. Oh, okay, yeah. Can get these big crease maybe? Uh -oh. uh, I mean, what? Alright, Razor's back finally. <laughs> the man is level 5, ready to do some damage. Nice. Should I get uh, Clarity and Tango? Uh, no, probably not. At this point, I think you're just like chilling and getting as much CS as you can. Um, and if you die at some point, it's not the end of the world. But you don't want to get into this like resource like dump where you start spending infinite amounts of money on resources. Okay. So dying is preferable. It's not preferable, but if you do die, it's okay. it's not the end of the world. Like, it's fine. Okay. Um, but like, buy yeah. If you buy like a tango and a bunch of stuff here, like you're gonna be pretty sad. Realistically, the razor should be buying region for you, but he's probably not going to. So that's yeah. Okay. Nice. So yeah, like like here, you're you're chilling. You can ferry out like a clarity if you want, or you can just like send the elven skin. That's okay too. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll send you Elven skin, I guess. Hey, you still call it Elven skin from Warcraft? Isn't that what it's called? Not anymore. Isn't it Band of Elven skin? Really? Oh, I yeah. think so. <laughs> okay. Oh, in War. Oh wait, in Warcraft they. Re ah! In, in Warcraft, <laughs> Jesus. In Warcraft they renamed it because that's racist <laughs> to elves, I think. Wait, elves aren't real. <laughs> I know, but they they renamed it from Boots of Elven Skin to uh, Boots of Quelthalas. And I've always wondered why. What, what is that? Well, Quelthalas is the region where the elves live. Uh, it's the forest where they live. And I've always wondered why did they do that? Like, is that just a, a lore thing? And I'm thinking probably because it is politically incorrect. Blizzard's such a good company, man. <laughs> they really, they really are setting the setting new boundaries on. Uh... Elven how to abuse. treat people properly yeah i don't know if that's an illusion or not um, probably real yeah yes did rune so he's real yeah that is a that is real do i hit the tower you a bit no no don't 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 hit the tower don't hit the tower. a little bit no okay no you should probably you so like at this point in the lane you're not really going to harass the night soccer down anymore it's too risky because they can kill you so you basically just want to maximize farm. So you can stack the small camp right now if it's if it's uh. It's not available. If it's there. Oh wait! Yeah, oh it shit! Is, it is. Yeah. Okay. My bad. I thought I didn't see it. It's okay. You can just multi-shot it down. Yeah. Okay, they're walking. They see yeah. you. No, they don't. What the? <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, what the hell was that? Yeah, they have some wards somewhere. Holy crap! I guess all seven. Um. You. All right, Razor's here. You're okay. You're saying that board's here because she walked to me the moment I was in that ra area? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, now now at this point, you just like, you just take all the CS and you move the woods after and you just keep going back and forth with like a swinging motion. Okay. Oh shit. Keep up the good vibes. Uh, is Dragonlance next okay? Yeah, it's fine. You can buy a, a Bassy as well for a bit more mana. Um, it's okay too, but um, just going Dragonlance here is fine. You can stack this. My net worth is horrendous. What the fuck? It's all right. It happens sometimes. <laughs> I'll take that. Nice spacing. They're, they're pretty low. Uh, so you said Bas yeah. Basilius, so I can just multi shot on cooldown. Do I not uh, save up for? Uh, Dragonlance or Alacri like Blade of Alacrity, rather? That's fine too, you're full mana, so you don't need to buy the Bastion right now. But it's it's a top item uh, in your mind. Do, do I farm all the way to mid and or top, or do I um, uh, go back no, to No, so vault? Gen generally after that medium camp, you go back to the small camp, and then... Then I catch the next back wave. Back down to bottom. Ah, okay. Yeah. So like you, you just like you push the wave out, and then in between the waves, you can farm the, the camps. Mm. Um, and then depending on the situation, sometimes you can also like harass the offliner, like own him a little bit. Harold. <laughs> <laughs> so like here, yeah, you can post up on this guy quite a bit. Like you're enjoying the chat. Post. Yeah, you can just man up on this guy. He's he's a coward. He's all he's half HP. Yeah, you're good. We're just even leaning behind. You, this razor can come like dive this guy potentially. He probably should. It doesn't look like he's going to, but he could. Yeah, he's coming. Yeah, you, like, if this, if this Ennis comes too close, you can, you can post someone and shoot him. Yeah, he's not, so you can probably just multi-shot this down, shoot the Ennis some. Um, he might even die, actually. Do Ooh, I so want to hit tower here? Or... Hitting tower is okay, as long as you're really careful about, like, hoodwink or Pateki's potential TP in the trees and going on. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Nice. Very good posturing. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Holy shit. I should have blocked Hacker, for him. Hacker, man. No, you shouldn't have blocked for him. You should move. <laughs> okay, now, now you can farm the hard camp again when it spawns. Yeah. So yeah, with the map like this, you're you're really chill. You can just keep doing this. As long as you're like aware of them potentially smoking to you, which is probably not going to happen. Uh, not um, often. Would, yeah, I, I I doubt that being the case. Would you multi shot? This is what I always wonder. Would you multi shot with mana in order to save mana? Like I mean, uh, power threats uh, multi shot, or would you agility in order to have that little bit of extra damage? Uh, it's better with int, I think, generally. Yeah. 
the, the, the extra damage. So yeah, you can go back to lane now. The, ah. the creeps are coming in closer. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the NS is really weak, so you can own this guy right here. You can yeah. shoot him a bunch and make him leave. Yeah. And if people were a bit more attentive, you could also have like a Wyvern TP right now. This guy would probably die. It's okay. So yeah, you can just keep running past the creeps. Like just keep keep and shooting. He'll have to he'll have to run away from you. Uh. Yeah, you don't have to multi-shot him, but yeah, just like doing that is nice. Yeah. Multi-shot this or uh, save it? I'll multi-shot it. I should have done yeah, it. Yeah, multi-shotting him is good. So look at them. Yeah. Okay, you're good. You're good. <clears throat> and now, yeah, you can. It's probably so. It's good generally to farm the hard camp first because oh. like you want to farm the camp closest to you because you're like moving in like a swap, right? Oh, so yeah, yeah, that's uh, you don't you don't, have, you don't spend time spending walking back walking back yes. and between things. That makes sense. And it, farming backwards away from potential threats as well. Yeah, away from potential threats and also towards your next camp or towards the next place you're going to. Yeah. Better so like in this case, it's probably back towards bottom because the NS is pushed up again and you can go on him again here. Yep. Maybe kill him. Yeah, so just posting up on this guy and shooting him a bunch is really good. You don't have to be scared of him. As long as you see other people, he can't do anything to you. He's like useless. Yeah, like you can you can walk up like onto this wave. Um, I mean, yeah, like you can you can just man up on him. Like he might even die. He's still a little far out. Oops. <laughs> well, yeah, he's, he's, he's just dead. That was bad. Do I then he, step he, up another wave or? You can. You can. You should. It's a bit risky, but you can. <laughs> um, should definitely ferry a clarity or two at this point. And it's getting pretty low. See, and now farm backwards towards jungle until the next wave is within safe reach. Yep. Yeah, things are going really well for you now. Probably should not pull it to the right. Probably should pull it to the left because you're gonna go small camp next. And you don't like I'm pulling the wave is okay. This is fine. Yeah, I, I mean, thought you're maybe you're gonna kill it really fast, so it doesn't matter that much. But this is chill. It's chill. All right, the wave is about to come, so you can go multi-shot the wave probably. Ah. Uh. That's all good. Arrow, find your target. Now I'm gonna lose like two creeps. Uh, nah, don't worry. Razor's got you covered. <laughs> no, no creeps lost. This man's all about the efficiency. Uh, He's built different like that. Oh, he arcane booted you. I see. That's sometimes you need to get mana packs, you know. It's the second time. It's uh, it's not bad. Uh, what would you get next, uh, Manta? Um, you could finish Pike, or you can go into the Manta. Um. I'm not sure what I would buy. Let's I see. think Pike is pro Pike is probably pretty nice. I like Pike um, because uh, distance the Night Stalker. Yeah, it distance the Night Stalker. I mean, a lot of their so the thing about their heroes is they have no blinks. Like, like all they can do is like they don't have like catch catch. You know, like they can sort of run you down if you're out of position. But if you space them a little bit, like they have a really hard time getting to you. Yes. I should have gone back to wave, maybe. I, no, I, I think I think going this way is correct because there's a bit too much darkness there. So it's yes. a bit too scary if you go to that wave. You could die there. Should I join team and fight? After this camp, you can walk over, yeah. You can like farm it upwards, and then uh, yeah, okay, they're backed up. You're good. You're good. They're they're not fighting. Oh yeah, yeah. So be it. <laughs> oh, you bought the the hurricane bike reservation. Uh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to spend my money in case of death, but I know it was wrong order. Yeah, so this medium camp is fine, but your caudal TP bots so don't move back down. The caudal's already there. You don't want to like oh. kill too many heroes. Uh, so so you, I should have can... been farming towards middle and then ancients, maybe. Yeah, at this point, yeah, likely so, since you're caught TP bottom. Mm, yes. Um, so after the small camp, you can... I mean, your Mars is farming ancient, so you can just go farm the hard camp. Okay. Um, this one, right? The, Yeah, you can go that one, you can go the other one after. Look at the, the Night Circle. What the, oh, PA is bottom. Okay, okay. So yeah, be a little bit careful here. You should be fine if you see them, so... Yeah. Spacing them is chill. Yeah, very um, bad flow. Left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> There's also a world where, I don't know if Mars, I mean, so like, Mars probably should be setting up on this at the top and he'll die right now, but as if Mars isn't there, so it's whatever. Radiance Try and, so like, um, ideally you get to stack that hard camp there, the upper one. Yeah, um, would have, would have been ideal. Yeah. This guy's probably not going to die, but yeah. He sees me too, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's Batman. Put his ult out now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Holy goodness. 
Groot. What? I thought he was a happy little. I thought he was a happy little tree. What happened? <laughs> it's an alternate universe where Groot was speaking uh, Oscar the Grouch. I feel like generally we are kind of winning, but there's always still people that uh, are that like mind greatly how the game is going. <laughs> yeah, um, this guy seems to be a bit of, be a, bit of a goober. <laughs> People flame very differently at uh, different MMRs. <laughs> ideally, I ideally also use stack agents there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how, what do you think is like the best forms of flaming? I don't know if there is a best, but I think you you just there's just stylistic differences at different MMRs. Um, people call each other M, like M, like lower MMR ranks at lower MMRs. So like they call people heralds, but like nobody's ever called anybody a herald in like a, a immortal or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> So like people just say different things. They call like they start calling people more like uh, objects mm. and animals. They call you like dogs or dogs, um, animals, yeah. doorknobs, or whatever. Yeah, the doorknob maybe is more of a me thing, but the dogs for sure. Really? Wait, I made that up. I didn't see that anywhere. You actually use I that? Think, I, I think I've called people doorposts. Maybe not knobs. Ah, uh, the difference being important. Um, I feel like post has more of like sort of clunky, brutish. Um, sort of like vibe to it whereas a doorknob is maybe a bit more sophisticated mm. yeah knob at least can be used exactly a post, a post is just there. a sort of chunk of wood yeah oh you could be a pike yeah i'm dead uh oh oh all right sorry i distracted you with the <laughs> no i think i think it's important like to to understand this early in case i ever need it uh next item should be manta maybe yeah, Matt, Matt's good. Elven skin, or do I wait for alacrity? I think I w this one I can bring right away. Elven skin. El Elven skin. Elven skin's fine. You can just buy it right now. Yeah. So um, let's look at the map. All enemy towers, all opponent towers are gone. Top would yeah, be so the my big wave usual coming go to. Yeah. So keeping top is definitely nice. Yeah. Um, you can oh, also. I don't know if there's any wards in stock, but you can also potentially buy a ward and put it on, like put it in an area. Yeah. So you, you can buy the ops. Sentry and put it in or area just ops. Nah, just ops is fine. Okay, don't want to waste money on sentry. And then what, exactly, you're a carry. <laughs> what would be an optimal location you think for the uh, ward? So either just somewhere on the ground by the small camp, or you can go and walk over and put it on the big hill if you want to. You can multi-shot this. Your money is dead. Going... Near the camp, you think? Pa past the camp. Like here? It's like past the yeah, like there's fine. My sentiments as well. So yeah, and you can do hard camp, and then you can go back to ancients. Oh. What about that next wave? Looking mega juicy. So it, it you can you can do that wave. You can do that wave. Yeah, it came a bit closer than I thought it would. Very well. Would you potentially what you see bottom? You can maybe even go further. Ah, yeah. So I could wait nearby. Small camp could be risky. They could have vision right here for all we know. If I do the small camp, I could be in vision. <laughs> And it could be up to three people wait, uh, waiting for me there. Though Night Stalker is disconnected. Yeah, with Night Stalker disconnected, I am highly doubtful he's there. Yeah. I also don't think he has ult, so I'm pretty sure you're not going to die there. Now, um, I could also go back and I may still make the Ancient stack. Yeah, so making the Ancient stack is better. You'd only go further, so in like there's like an ideal world where you go further, it's, but I think you should go back. Yeah. Um, there's an ideal world where you go further and you take the medium camp and the hard camp, and then you're, the, the Razor comes in ports and stacks the ancients for you and then you double farm those camps and you come back and farm these stack camps that were stacked for you uh, uh would you pull them towards the right or like this i think like this is good because you should go top right now and shoot this pa she walks on the wave oh do not farm the stack now just stack it so you could farm it but the pa was walking there and if she was she walked backwards she should not really um i didn't see him by but, the way uh, yeah, it's 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 all good. Cause so like if if there's a dude there, you can maybe even get that kill there. Um, but they went they went away, so it's just like fine to go farm the stack. Normally you would farm the stack there, but there was a guy really far up, so maybe there's like a free kill there or something. Uh, so yeah, I'd probably go back at this point. The farm hard multi shotting is okay. Too. Would you pike for mobility now or uh, save it for? Yeah, you, you, you you can just ban it. They're not they're not here, so. Well, Probably started to try to stack the ancients again. Oh yes, uh, so I farm the top and stack the bot. Uh, yeah, that's probably fine.
Very okay. nice. I got it. Would you equip Nether Shard to do 6% more damage for your next multi shot? I would not. <laughs> <laughs> I would not. I don't even know if that works. Maybe it does. Why not? Oh, because it's physical? Yeah. It should. It probably still. I don't actually know if it amps it. I'm not even sure. I should be, but I'm not. Uh, would you ever frost arrow creeps here? Maybe not. It's okay. Depending on, like, you just want to, like, manage your mana levels, right? If you feel it's getting too low, you don't have to. If you have, feel like you have plenty or too much, then you can use them. You know? Yes, makes sense. You can probably multi shot the end of this. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, Mitt is an accumulating wave. The, ra the SS running up top lane. So you, sh you can, after this creep, you should run, like, really fast. You might actually kill the SS up here if it is not. Okay. Or you can at least force his BKB. Do you turn on Frost Arrow in a moment like that? Can you wait, cl click him and see what he has? Shadow Blade. Oh, he's low. Okay, be careful, be careful. He could ult right next to me now, right? Yeah. He could even trace me so all take, the take way. The wave, yeah, yeah, take the wave under the tower and like wait a little bit until you see a little more. Okay, you see him, you're good. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, I was like, uh, that's a little spooky there for a second. Yeah, they, they play Shadow Blade a lot here. Yeah, that's that's a classic. I remember going Mom, Shadow Blade, SF, and Solar and Roche. <laughs> That was a different Roshan, he was much weaker. Ah. I have a sentry here. I figured because of potential invasions. Oh yeah, that's fine. I don't think they've been here for a while, so they probably don't see you, but it's fine to place one. They saw me go to the to the place here. Um like I telegraphed it on the final look, crypt on the tower. Actually, he peeped in the missile tower. You're not teammate. Pew. Your team is fighting in some some questionable positions. Yeah. SF's running back. If you had the sentry, you could actually maybe kill the SF. He, SF's oh, you need to run. He, he's running. You know, you run down. You need to run down. Yeah. They, they want to defend that safe lane tower. It's still alive. 24 minutes. <laughs> it is alive. It is alive. What is going on? Look, look at the fight. Look at the fight. Okay, it's fine. Razor is not playing uh, Bloodstone. Maybe as a five, he's not rich enough for it. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in an ideal world here, your team is probably committing between resources to top. And if you had some dude with a stun come and just collect this retail and SF, or at least make him use his BKB, you could get a lot more fat here by being able to move up further and being able to take the camps in their main woods. But your team is kind of leaving you out to dry here. Whereas like if this guy didn't have Lothars or your team is helping you a bit here, you could go and put like this guy should get gone on here and lose his speed because what he's doing is really silly. Should I not um, be get got on too? No, because it's really far for them to get to you, and it's really close for your team to get to yes. to get. I can't speak, but um, it's really easy for like one Mars to just come and just spear the guy and he's just dead. Yes. Whereas like they have to do some crazy wraparound smoke that's gonna be like kind of obvious if you're like being aware of the mini map. Yes. All right, now that your razor's here, maybe you can use him as a shield. Is this too greedy? Um, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, at this point, you should probably be looking to get Roche. Um, they'll do it pretty easily with Wyvern heal. Um, so if like people, if you, they did like a smoke into like the top woods, because you're really strong right now. Yes. Um, if you get to actually shoot stuff. If your team isn't gonna take a fight now, you probably would want to go back and double farm the ancients and hard camp right now. Uh, too late, huh? Uh, if you pike over the hill and shoot it, you can uh, still make it. Very nice. So yeah, I mean, Drow is a hero that sort of, like, I mean, as we sort of talked about before, like, it's not that easy in a game like this where they have some threats and the map is kind of dark. Like, you can't just go, like, run in crazy by yourself because that's like a Requiem you or whatever. Yes. Like, you kind of need to your team to help you, but they're being a little, a little goobery. Um, but I, in an ideal world, they come and they help you and you'll take this main woods and you'll fight right now because you're... You're really strong, and I don't think this PA is quite a critical mass yet. Yeah, what will instead happen is they will either win or lose. If they win, we win. If they lose and die, they're going to blame me. You're never part of the fight! <laughs> but what you're doing is not, like, it's not your fault. If they say that, like, what you're doing is, is correct right now. Oh, by the way, what should my next item be? Uh, I think the Silver Edge is, is quite good. Okay, nice. I think I there's another game where they have pretty I low reach. I don't usually play that, so that's going to be fun. Yeah, and you can also, if the PA doesn't pop BKB, you can break your break her blur and insta kill her. What components should I get first? Is that real PA? Yeah. You could probably TP. That's real. 
if, if, Maybe if, it if wasn't. like it looks like I guess it wasn't. You can mount, yeah, you can mount to the next wave. Um, and farm these camps. I don't. I think SF was bottom, so you're really safe here with us. Okay. I go in silence. See so yeah, at this point, Roche looking pretty, looking like looking like a snack. Uh, he's top. You can shoot this guy some for sure. Yeah. He's uh, same level as me. Pretty big. Yeah, I'm surprised he's that far. Can look at your razor probably. Yeah, you you can kill this NS if he keeps going like this. this is way too far by him. Got slowed. In fights, it's good to not use your mantle like that. Okay. Um, it's good to hold it so you can uh, like purge like a PA slow or something random. Okay. Uh, which component should I get first from uh, Silver Edge? The 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 Shadow Blade. He's helping me DPS. Wow. Yeah, what a, what a nice guy. Yeah. I thought Keep farming drought to all oh, Groot's about to go in on you. Here See, I'm, I'm telling you, that happens every single game when you're plus one. Like, if you're having a fantastic free farm game, your team begrudges it rather than cheer you on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, this, this, like I said, this Groot guy, he, he got crossed with Oscar the Grouch at some point. <laughs> He's like, PA shreds you into a hit, so he, he thinks the time pressure is on our side. And, uh, yeah, so I think I think you should press Manta on this wave and move to your team, and you should probably go first one. Um, I mean, you, you can multi-shot it too, since you're already here. Um, but I think y'all do want to take a fight now. Okay. Um, so how do I make that happen? So you can just port to mid-tier 2, and y'all can go smoke together once you get okay. your Shadow Blade up here again. Nice clarity purchase. Yep. So yeah, this is the type of fight where you definitely don't want to like get baited into hitting people who are too close to or uh, who are like immediately out of position. Like you don't need to hit that guy. Oh, you yeah. kind of wait. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, should I engage with Silver uh, with Shadow Blade or uh, like I did, or stay out of yeah, vision? Yeah, using using Shadow Blade like that is totally fine. Yeah. Um, in an ideal world, there's a smoke right now, and you'll use it to go kept them on mid wave or in top woods. Because we killed one. Yeah, because you killed one, and also bottom is pushing in, you might see a guy there soon. And you're also- okay, they were rushing. Um, and you're also quite strong. So you can still- I'm not sure what items PA has. Um, but you are still quite strong, but it's just very important that you fight, like, in a, a oh caution- God. Holy crap, what? <laughs> Holy crap, are you gonna die? Gracious! <laughs> I was almost gonna die. Uh, that was crazy. I shouldn't have piked through known mine locations, I don't think. I mean, I didn't expect any to be this. I don't know how the heck they're there. That's so weird, actually. <laughs> Guess they were here Isa for man. a while. Who the heck is Iza, man? Oh, he's calling Coddle as a lord. Like, but he's a really it to Iza. That's crazy. Who's that? Have you ever seen that before? No. So Coddle's, Coddle's name is as a lord. Oh. <laughs> Oh, like well, he's like he's saying like they're buddies from college. Like yeah, me and Ezra we go away. Like, <laughs> first this guy's a psycho. First name basis. Ezra, that's insane. Mm, this is not a good fight to join, is it? Uh, it's a bit deep and spooky. Spooky. There's some crap. Oh, oh look at Wyvern. Look at Wyvern down, down, down. Look at Wyvern down. Hmm? What's going on there? The Anas, Anas is chasing him. You can, you can kill Anas, depending on what he does. All right, he's back. That was my thought. Oh shit. Holy crap, you're bad. fine, you're fine. Oh, okay, well that freeze killed you. You're fine, actually. My bad. Yeah, so this is the type of, um... This is the type of thing that you don't, like, you don't want to happen whenever you... So, like, you go to look for this fight, and it's good to try to look for this fight, but if they're gonna go run, like, super deep in this corner, then you're fighting like how you want the fight still applies where you want stuff close to you and you want stuff that's like really easy for you to shoot and if your team's gonna go run out to the middle of nowhere you can't follow them like you're gonna get exposed and you're gonna die to some random dude jumping you so even if they're gonna do this random stuff you can't like uh, you can't really fight like in that type of position nor apparently linger in the vicinity after we're, after razor did die yeah i mean that's just like shadow fiend uh lothar memes um <laughs> the shadow blade memes yeah yeah. But that's common here, so I have to play to the level that I'm at. <laughs> Alright. Your wyvern is... I feel like half of this is just you being super confused what's going on. <laughs> I mean, no, this, I, I mean I, this game this, this game is a classic. This is a classic game. More farm drow? 
<laughs> your buddy Groot. Your buddy Groot, not too, not too happy. So how do I deal with the growing uh, PA? Um, so realistically, the map is sort of at a. I mean, I don't know what items this guy has. If you can, if you get the chest, like, it's good. BKB, I believe. Uh, yeah, that's later BKB. Holy gracious. Basher Fury. Yeah, he's pretty fat. Um, uh, I mean, it's not. Like, fighting isn't impossible. Like, once he uses BKB, you. Y'all can kill him pretty easily afterwards. You just kind of just have to, like, bait them into you a little bit. And fight when they're too deep. Okay, very nice. And then skirt back around. Don't go across. Yeah. Uh -huh. You shoot this guy. Nice beaky bead. Might want to move down some. Could just kite the beaky bead. Still has a or is a guess you, you you can kill him. You can kill him. Sounds the guy and he'll die. Sounds 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 nice. Wow, nice. Yeah, so that's that's exactly how you want to fight. You want them to drag into you. You want them to move a little bit too far, and then you get to play this fight where they're not looking at you. They don't oh, focusing you. Yes. You just get to shoot them. Like that's like what just happened there is the ideal like structure of a fight for I, this I type of hero. That. Whenever you're scared. Your under I could have taken this wave too, but. Yeah, so probably you don't want to keep here, and you want to keep running down top lanes. So like, ideally, whenever everybody dies, you want to just run down all the lanes at once. Yes. Um, if you're not gonna take the towers, then like you could be in like running down the top woods and taking like so you still can. So you go walk into their main woods, um, the top woods, and you can like send a manta and you can cut the top wave, um, past the tier two. You probably ah! want to spawn. What? Never mind. All right, there's some fucking techies memes going on. Check topper. Maybe it's a region. Maybe you got lucky. No. You did not get lucky. But... Okay, so um, yeah, we're, I know we're not getting enough done after uh, after like wiping them, but what can you do? It's uh, okay, it, it happens. Uh, item? Shard? Um, shard is good. Um, shard is good. I think Scotty is pretty good this game. Yes. Um, the HP and the extra armor against PA will be really nice because you don't want to like you don't want to man fight this guy. You also have your ult, so you don't need MKB. Um, so just getting fat and getting tanky and continuing to scale like. You don't have issues against PA scaling if you fight like that. As long as you continue to fight like that, you'll be you'll be chill. Mm. Um. So yeah, they don't have NS ult right now. I mean, they will. In, I mean, they, they won't have ult for a little bit, but it'll be uh, night time in a second. Um, you can start mantaing to like just spam out the waves now. So like, you don't want to send them too far. You want to send them to like the close waves. So you're sometimes when you spawn them, you're spawning them, sending them to like random places. Yeah. So like on your next match spawn, you can just send it mid and it'll push the mid wave and then you can move towards top. So now you sort of got like top and mid going in. Okay. And you can maybe start to move into the woods there. It looks like Coddle's Coddle's got it pushed in, so it's whatever, but like SF on top wave, you might raise this if you can kill him on like, top wave. Okay. Very well. Yeah, there he is. If he beat it, he'll still die. Just kill him. He's yeah. Like, Quick have detection, that is. Surely. Surely, Surely we have detection. You, hopefully, I don't know if you died at Requiem here. You put a sentry down. It's okay. You can still keep going here. You can mount to the next wave. Like you can mount to top wave and then run into the woods. Uh, your Mars probably should be running in for you. Yes, but he prefers you to. UCPA bottom. You're good. UCPA. You're good. You're okay, good. Okay. Okay. You're all safe here. You can probably take top tower here, depending what you see. Yeah. We'll see if you see PA soon. Very well. Very nice. It's probably safe to shoot this. Just be ready to kite backwards if they go on you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're chilling. Yeah, you see PA bottom. You're good. As, as, if you see PA, like they can't really. As long as you're not getting like requiem, you're like you're not. Gonna die. Okay. Sure. Uh, at this point, you just want to take smart fights, and you want to make sure you get this next Roshan. Okay. Is essentially your your goal. You keep getting items, don't take any silly fights, and and if maybe you get a good fight where they overextend, you know you're happy you do get to do drow things. Um, but otherwise, getting this Rosh will be make the game really easy for you. All. Okay. Good enough. Too bad. No stack. 
I don't know what this goober's doing. He's running in. You've been tipped by... What the heck is an Alpha Patriarch Angel? <laughs> That's such a crazy username. <laughs> Everyone's a psychopath. <laughs> what is that username? I don't know what it means, but... I don't know. It sounds... It sounds... Uh, I don't know. It sounds sus. Okay, we've got the Scotty. Alpha Patriarch is an insane name. <laughs> Regardless of what the third word is. Yeah, I can think of some YouTube channels he probably watches. Yeah, and uh, I think it's probably not a not a good judge of character to be watching those YouTube channels. No. That's pretty nice. You if you can double him as now. And PA also is gonna miss on you. She's not gonna have MKB. Oh, you want me to take the cloak? Yeah, I think it's good. Oh. Wow. What the? Good enough. Oh, you heard that? Loud. Yeah, this guy's loud. How do you hear that? Uh, you're streaming the game? Yeah, I didn't know Discord shares the sound. Yeah, it shares the sound. Wow. All right. He gives the farm. What a nice guy. Okay, that's probably better. Okay. Might want to send the other one to base, though. Yeah, I'm giving it to Mars. Okay, what a nice guy. Waste of time, right? <laughs> but he gave the farm, so... That's true, that's true. You gotta respond in kind. Oh, Roche on the Alright, so, so yeah. Um, their Roche poke is not that good. You can honestly probably just Shadow Blade in and just can kill it with Mars, if they're not here. Um, but you might, like, depending on what you see, you might need to get out. But shooting it for now is totally fine. Yeah, you can just finish at this point. They won't get there in time. So just be ready to pick it up and get out of the pit. Be funny if Razor takes it. Very nice, and you get the shard. Nice. Ooh, that's yummy. Nice. I was gonna buy it. So you don't need to move to top right now. You can kind of just go with your team. You can take mid and bottom towers. Okay. Um. So yeah, you can just push at the mid wave. You can be super manly at this point. So if they try, you still don't want to be super overextended. But if they go on you, like in some goofy way, like it's fine because you can pike and reset, get wiper and freeze. Like you'll be, you'll be chilling. Okay. So you can move to move to triangle and help, help the team here. Some weird crap going on. I don't think I'm happening. All right, be a bit careful of posturing oh, here. This shoot. could get weird. Probably should walk away. This is probably not worth the risk. Okay, for PA BKB, you might just kill her, to be honest. Just don't overcommit here. Okay. It's on a pike, so yes. keep that in mind. PA might blink in here. Keep in mind. That was my thought. Can look down at your razor. Yep, I saw him on the map. Good enough. This looks... Uh... Interesting. Look behind you. you can kill this guy. Shoot him. Very nice. Your team is very annoying. Yeah, they are. They are very, very annoying. Um, what uh, item do you think I should have next? I'm thinking BKB can be nice against techies, but it doesn't super help against PA. I think MKB is probably good. They are, they're all just going to disintegrate if you buy MKB. I think um, Satanic, is okay. Satanic is okay too. Um, but MKB is the chat option. MKB is the kill everyone option. So at this point, you probably want to start looking for like solo kills. You can find solo kills really, really easy okay. uh, on random heroes. So like just pushing waves and being really aggressive. You have this Aegis and you want to use it. Because when the Aegis wears out, you're going to have to wait for an next Aegis before you can push up aggressive again. Yeah. So like looking for fights now, for right now is definitely what you want to do. So you can like run towards bottom look at the scoons. Yeah. Oh. That's a solo, like crap. This NS might die. PA might die too. She has no BKB still, but it's still in cooldown. So yes. if she goes in, she's dead. Uh. Yeah, you have Aegis, so shooting this guy is totally fine. Yep. Oh, yes, we can oh, he has BKB again. Alright. I mean, he's still gonna die. Once he ports now. He ported, what a beast. Spear? Any spears? Didn't have. Right, maybe it was cool on. Feels bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, so just running down bottom lane and killing the waves ASAP is good. That should have been Call's mine, that one. but he's gonna get it. Yeah, it's fine. He's uh, he's Groot, you know? Groot, Groot yeah, what's, gets what he wants. If I hadn't griefed him so much, he wouldn't need to do it. Exactly. If you just come to the fight, <laughs> yeah. Drow, like we asked. Yeah, always five man. I don't know where my Drow is. Not fighting. <laughs> match. Literally, I I'm serious. Eighty percent of the games, people are like, "Why are you farming to the position one?" 
You can go hit high ground here. Um, force them back. This SF is top. If y'all have like any sentry, I mean the PA just can't go in right now. If she goes in, she's just gonna die. So just shooting is like super chill. Do I go? Uh, Don't. At this point, hitting hitting from high ground is okay, but afterward you should probably move back down and just yeah. Fine. Yeah. Do I use Manta to see up? Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, after this creep wave dies. Oh, after it dies. Wasted yes. ulti too. It's fine. You still have Aegis for a minute. Y'all can potentially y'all they they're gonna try to fight you here, but you can win this fight really hard. Okay. Just play in formation and they can't like if you just sit then you're chilling and you just keep shooting like they're either gonna go on you or you're gonna get free racks. Yeah. Look at SF. Okay, some dude is really deep. I don't know who it was. Yeah, there is. Usually Razor. <laughs> Very nice. Keep playing formation. Don't get too baited by random stuff. Get LinkedIn. You can just shoot that guy. He's, he can't do anything. PA has no BKB, by the way. You can Silver Edge hit that guy who's just gonna die. I should have probably saved Silver Edge until he just ran out. Nah, it's okay, it's okay. He has no, no, no BKB on that guy. I can just silence him and he'll die. You can kill SF too. Wow. If he stays close. Kill Hoodwink. Oh. oh, how did what? You procked. What? You can you can hit the tier force. You can hit the tier force. <laughs> as long as you have a you pick up the jump. Pick up the jump. Okay, the huh. Yeah. You can just you can just hit tier force. He doesn't have requiem, so he can't do anything to you anyway. Yes. You can throw on them here. When you said you procked, you mean one silver edge hit? No, that you're old procked. What does that mean? Wait. Oh, there's a chance. Of bonus proc damage. Okay, okay. I, yeah. I thought it was just agility increase. No, the it, it pierces. Uh, it pierces 100% armor. Ah, uh, that's why you said uh, doesn't matter as much the PA. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay, you can just kill him. It's fine. He can't do anything to you. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, you can just shoot him and he's dead. Oh, he has that. Right, oh. He does have wreck man. Really? What the heck? How is that up? Huh. All right, let's uh... <laughs> See, it's a little you're, bit like Immortal Your team too. is mad. <laughs> they are so mad. <laughs> a little bit like Immortal too. <laughs> the flaming, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, the, the dog, that's true. They, they've, been, they've been taking tips, you know, they're watching replays. Uh, I think that's, despite, by my metrics, the net worth uh, having a very bad early game. I don't think uh, I've had a game quite like that, just... In what way? Uh, well, I don't think I've won a game so easily with Drow, which means that it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we didn't do anything crazy, but I have many doubts during the game. Should I join? Should I not? And also what item I should get next. So I really liked what Silver Edge brought. I liked what Scotty brought. Scotty is BKB piercing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's really good against. It's super. SF is so bad against the range Scotty carries. Mm. SF is very bad against draw. And my death count is so low by comparison. I mean, just to show the the Quinn effect, let's say, uh, my average death is six. So hitting three. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. That's your effect. Yeah, I mean, I think um, takeaways. I think I mean this isn't the most fun thing, but if you want to increase MR by a lot, I think getting good at last hitting um, yes. is a really, really valuable skill as a core. Like, it is the biggest part of laning is being a really good last hitter. Um, and you don't even need to do that with other people. Like, what I did when I was getting good at laning is I just last hit in a lobby by myself. Like, I just clicked the demo here mode and bought my starting items and just last hit. And tried to time the last hits as close as possible as when I could possibly get them. So, like, I'd try and chase the attack of the creep that was putting it in range. Um, hold, of last hold, on, hold on, when you demo mode, you have no enemy player. Isn't that so much harder to put it in perspective with how it will really go? Um, so in terms of how like the wave is actually going to like look and play out, yes. But the objective is not like accurately simulating laning. It's simulating knowing exactly when you can kill a creep and when to throw your attack. Um, so you develop your items and your level organically as well as you would during a game 
Uh, I don't buy new items. I just I just do it for a few minutes. I just I'll just last it for like three minutes and then I'll reset it and do it again. Uh. Um, and just building that muscle memory of knowing like I'm gonna throw my attack now and I'm positive I'll get the CS. Like I can close my eyes and I know it's gonna chase the attack and it's gonna get it. Um, it allows you to like look at and focus on other things like your positioning and knowing if you can go on the guy and whatever. Like there's a lot of things in lane, and being really good at last hitting is like, it's like Sumail told me years ago that the two biggest things in laning are last hitting and confidence. Um, confidence. <laughs> and the confidence comes uh, with the last hitting. Yeah. Do you put observer ward like this and then put like an enemy hero in order to have someone to uh, aggro pool? Or it... No, I don't I don't even bother with aggroing. I just try and time the attacks. Ah, uh, and then you try to keep equilibrium. Uh, yeah, ju just so you can fight each of the attacks. So yeah, that was, that was good. Like that was... You didn't need any more creep hits to get that one, but you could have timed it tighter with the, the attack. That one, you could have gotten it after the range attack. You didn't need to wait for the melee. Oh, okay. And would you frost the arrow last hit or uh, without? Just do without, probably. So this one, you need one more ranged. Yeah, so the the enemy ran, yeah. The, it would have been denied if uh, by the opponent if I did it like that. Mm -hmm. And do you manage your pos positioning as well, or uh, are you just thinking of uh, last hitting? Just, just last hitting mostly. Maybe like the range in which you're lasting from differs. So like, yeah. So like that one, like, it was so that last, the one right then, that that was a good one. Huh. Um, that one's probably too slow. So like, you want your attack to chase the attack that you think will put it in ah, attack range. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or in uh, in last hit range. And specifically the ranged guy, right? Like this. If it has so it. not doesn't always. Hit. Sometimes it can be. Sometimes it can be the melee guy. So I might say chase. Like it doesn't actually have to be chasing their projectile. It can be chasing their sword too. Yep. So like that one was actually you actually had to wait for the melee hit. Yep. Um, and so there's like it just it takes some practice to get used to that, but heck, just half. Um, I reset. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you could do that. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that in terms of like early game improvement, um, will have a lot of impact. Um, and the the whole being conscious of your positioning and not getting baited to like shoot any particular target, but instead shooting the stuff that comes near you. There's a lot of value in just like, I kill what comes near me and I stay in formation, especially on squishy heroes or heroes that rely on a team. Um, using your teammates as shields is a very real thing. It's not like some toxic carry thing. Like you have to use people as shields. Um, yeah. and getting good at that is really valuable. Yeah, I, I think uh, that was probably the best way that I approached the fight, like the fight on the left of the ancients yeah where Onward. normally i would probably be trying to step up and shoot people and be like oh yeah they have a pa and and, and instead you were like okay uh you know circle around the back play safe and then you reminded me of what kind of items pa have like what kind of threat they're still as he still has pkb I, and, and like you like you said the confidence i don't know that i'm gonna kill him actually like it's a it's a nice yeah. thing i guess yeah, that just takes that just takes games and feel to like be sure of something like that. Um, but yeah, like circling around the back there is is very is very very valuable, and that applies to a lot of games as well. Um, I think the the uh, the people sneaking down top lane and like co continually coming back. Oh yeah, so then like the swooping in the right, like swooping in the same direction, and sort of bouncing back and forth, um, is very valuable. And then the thing you did to the night stalker on the bottom lane is also really good. Um, and the similar thing can happen. People push up top lane too far. So like when the SF was running down top lane and you went there to try to shoot him, he had Shadow Blades, so you can't do it. Um, but in a lot of games, you can like maybe stack the Ancients and then you like run back immediately and you get this, you shoot this guy up there because making someone's resources really low or sending them to base or whatever has like a lot of value. And if you're not mm. tanking your efficiency for it, like maybe you go in this guy and you shoot him and he has to run backward and now you can take more extra camps in the enemy woods. Yeah, yeah, and if, yeah. you know, it's like if it's a real game. Um, then your team will stack the ancients for you. You could come back to a triple stack, and you farm those extra camps. And their dude was low, so he ran to base, so they have lower threat, etc. Right? Like the game suddenly feels like really, really safe. Yeah, m makes sense. And because in this case, I have to stack it myself, but that stack is still gonna be there by the time I get back. I have at most 40 seconds to leave and do another stack, and I'll never actually lose any of them. Even though I think stacked ones give a little bit less gold or XP or something, right? Um. No, they give the same. So what it is is, as the support stacks more and more, the rewards they get from stacking repeatedly are less. Oh. Okay. But the creeps do not. Are, I, unless I'm wrong, check and correct me. But I think that's how it works. Okay. 
Maybe uh, I'm smoking crack, but I think if you stack it yourself, you've probably it experienced like dozens or hundreds of patches, so it can be can be hard. Uh, do you get less? They, they do give less. Okay, maybe they do actually give less. I don't know. <laughs> Shaft is not always right, but I'm assuming maybe this one. I don't. Is right. I don't remember. I don't. I don't feed stack very much. They give, stack a little. They give eighty percent. So okay. probably. All right. Yeah. Maybe so. So in this moment, he's got the shadow blade. Uh, I, of course, I'm not streaming this to you, but um. No, you are. I see. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Of course, I am. Uh, so uh, the if I had the the point here is to hurt him, not to kill him per se. Yeah, like if I mean, if you can kill him, that's cool. Yeah. But hurting him or forcing a BKB is also really valuable. Like if any, if you go back thirty seconds, um, like you see, you see him running there right now. So yeah. like in a in a in a real game, or I said in a real game, in a game where you're like your team is more aware, like you could start spam pinging top lane right now and start running. Yeah, because he because, telegraphed, he's gonna walk forward. Yeah, so you see him's going to walk, so he wants the next wave. So if you start spam pinging there and you get one TP, that guy's dead. Yeah, and someone will TP here, maybe they bring a smoke, or maybe we walk here, and then we gank him on the next wave. Yeah, exactly. Um, or you know he's gonna walk back after this wave and he's gonna farm the hard camp and the small camp and the medium camp and the hard camp, and he's gonna work back through. So you can also, it's very telegraphed, so you can smoke and catch him all over on any of those camps as well. Yes, and you think that should, Maybe it's not so much about whose responsibility is it to call it out. Should it be my initiator? Should it be me? But you think at the very least I can try to call for it because this is something I see and an idea I came up with and I know what is needed to kill him. Yeah. So or or just or at the very least being aware of it um, because that kind of awareness of like, hey, I can own this guy's HP or I can hurt him or I can make him leave. Like evicting people from places is a really valuable concept. Though. Like you don't need to kill the guy, mm. but making him hurt is going to cost him forty five seconds of his time, and that means. There's going to be a lot of repercussions of that across the map of like what they're doing and what they can do and how safe you are and a whole bunch of things, right? Yes, makes sense. And, and you know, technically, it should have been illegal for him to do perform this particular route because this yes, area of the map die. is ours now, and we've got vision. Yeah, yeah. Also, that that word placing there is a, is like really big. It allows you to like play a lot differently. Yeah, than if it, w it wasn't there. I like it a lot that you said like get your own app sword and place it. I've seen it before, but I guess I never really like implemented it. I prefer to just complain that my my supports didn't do it. Yeah, it's it's a it's a really big deal. It's like there's nothing wrong with just doing it yourself. It doesn't have to be something super deep, but it's it's very helpful. Yeah. <laughs> I turn into such a baby sometimes when I when I'm one. Uh, I feel like they should be. It it just seeps into your DNA, you know. When you're playing one, you just become. I don't know. You start wanting to watch Kuroki in a basket and just like I don't know. The anime just it just becomes you. <laughs> Is it better as a two? Um, it's good as a two as well, but it's less good in the mid game as a two and better in the early game. Whereas a carry, it's better in like the mid game and worse early game. Oh, yeah. Okay, I should probably try one alone. Like I, I always marvel at the at the decision making quality that goes up so much when 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 there's coaching. And I love how you helped me to approach the fights that felt a lot more comfortable. Each game has its own challenges. Uh, yeah. I guess I, I do have a, I have a question here. Why am I not afraid of Night Stalker or Techies? You're like it's all about PA. Why? Be, be just relative net worth. Um, relative net worth and also. Like, those heroes are going to have hard, like, so, like, I don't know what the Night Stalker's items are, but he doesn't, like, he's, like, Blink and Halberd or something. Yeah, like, he doesn't actually do any damage to you. Mm. Um, and Techies, I don't know if he has Aether Lens or not, but his reach, like, his, yeah, his Aether. But his ability to get to you is not really that good. Um, PA is the only one who, like, if you over, like, if you overstep, PA is going to be the one who kills you. Mm. Um, and in terms of, like, their ability to move around the map, so they're, like, there are heroes who, like, if they were on you, can kill you. But there's sort of an ebb and flow to playing carry. So, like, depending what you see on the map, like, sort of um, shifts how far you can go or how scared you are. Yes. And so you sort of tow the, like, carry it's a lot about, like, towing the line and moving back and forth, ebbing and flowing with what you see. And so just sort of having a feel for how easily this hero can get on you. Like, they have a Shadow Blade and a Blur, so you have to be conscious of that. But you, if you see some, like, techies in some bottom, like, ish area or in the Ancients area, you sort of know like where he is roughly, and then you know that okay, he can't really get here realistically unless he like poured it in smoke, but he's not doing that. So. Yeah, makes sense. And 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 then in terms of like how the game went so far, how confident were you that we were gonna win it like from this point onwards? Um, I think in a game where I I'm like pretty confident y'all win this game. Um, the fighting like that, fighting in a way where you wait for them to overextend, is really broken. Especially when people are not playing super well. Yeah. Um, 
you will win a lot of games like that. So your tip um, to me and Legend and other people watching off this level uh, or around would be more patience? Yeah, patience and valuing your own life. Kills are worth less than you staying alive is. If you're dead, then you're not getting any towers, you're not getting roads, you're not getting anything. Um, and that one 300 gold money bag is gonna get offset if you die. Like, you're gonna lose 300 gold or more. Holy crap! <laughs> what the? <laughs> this guy's a psychopath. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, like, all that gold you're gonna get from the kill is offset. So, like, dying is, like, the worst thing you can do in the game. Like, staying alive through fights is how you win the game and how you get really rich playing carry or core in general. Like, dying is, is really bad. Okay. The Dota Plus thinks it's 50 50. Uh, I thought my team was doing well, but uh, like initially they were getting more kills, but then they died more and the invariable blame started. Sometimes I start feeling guilty towards my team uh, because they're like mewling and like babies and stuff. And I have like this instinctive nurturing sense that I want to like call to them and go help. Like, look, I, I do help, but it almost never is the right thing to listen to their whining. Yeah, it's it generally. Because the thing is, is you have a hypothesis about what you think the case is, like well, what you should do, right? And if you're going to get goaded into doing something, goaded into doing something by your team who is not playing your hero, you're the highest network hero, you're the strongest hero. If you like just do what they say blindly, um, then you're not, also not like learning as much because you're just like following what they say. I True. tend to think, especially when you're really high net worth, it's better to just trust your own hypothesis and do what you think is right, and you get to learn from that because it was your idea and you get to you know feel like how it felt or yes. you know think about it or whatever instead of just blindly following with someone else so. your power spike your item timing rather than because your team feels uncomfortable yeah your razor with like drums or cane boots is not has not does not have the accurate picture of how strong the game is or like what the state of the game is whereas the drow who knows who has like a specific fight condition and a specific way things need to be done like you know way more about what the game is like needs to be like than this razor that makes sense uh, do, would you want to do another one where I'm Clinks? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Okay, cool.